Is it just us or is it that all we need is for Apple to launch a kitchen sink now with all their product announcements? Because yes, even if Apple has been having a pretty busy year, it looks like the company has one more thing up their sleeves again. If you're rocking the Galaxy S20, you might want to check your updates tab for a surprise. And yesterday was day two of Qualcomm Snapdragon Tech Summit, where we heard about the new Snapdragon 888. So let's recap. I'm Jaime Rivera, and if you're like me and you still believe that today is Tuesday, you're in for a treat tomorrow. This is Pocket Now Daily, powered by Qualcomm. Stick around to learn more about the new Snapdragon 888 5G mobile platform. Yes, we're no longer in either Black Friday or Cyber Monday, and definitely the deals have slowed down, but you've got to admit that the ones that are left are probably the best ones that we found that actually continue in some cases. Let's begin once again with the M1 MacBook Pro, which is $100 off, leaving the space gray variant for $1,200. But now this time, they also have the silver variant on a discount, but it's just 50 bucks, leaving it at $1,250. Now, moving on to new favorites, the Samsung trade-in deals are definitely making the top of the list. The Galaxy Note 20 series is starting at $450 for the regular Note 20. The S20 series starts at $240 for the S20 FE, and then it goes all the way up to $790 for the S20 Ultra. The Galaxy Z Flip is available for $450, and then the Z Fold 2 is still down to a crazy $1,000 with a trade-in. Yes, you will have to find an eligible device, but think about it. I mean, the deal's pretty crazy. Now, moving on to some cameras. The Panasonic GH5 mirrorless camera that I'm using to make this video is $100 off, leaving it at $1,300. And that's a significant discount to the price I'd pay for it when it launched. We've got more deals on Sony cameras, Sony TVs, Samsung TVs as well in the links in the description. Now, how about if we continue talking about Samsung, particularly because apparently the company has been secretly working on a product that we have only heard of Apple developing, oddly. We've all heard of the rumors of AirTags, Apple's tile-like devices that would work with the Find My application, which were rumored to come with their previous event, but actually didn't happen. Well, it looks like Samsung might beat them to the punch, again. Back when we got the Note 20, Samsung unveiled a new SmartThings Find feature, which kind of works like Apple's Find My application, surprisingly. Now, according to a new Sam Mobile report, a device called Galaxy Smart Tag, because what other name would they give it with a leaked model number was just spotted in Indonesia. And yes, Samsung has made some poorly implemented trackers in the past, which you actually have to pay for. But with all the frenzy of AirTag rumors, it looks like they want to do something similar, which actually makes more sense for the consumer. Now let's see when we should expect these, as uh, if we're honest, we're technically just a month away from the next Galaxy Unpacked. Just give us the new Samsung, seriously? Sticking to Samsung, and for those of you that are currently owning a Galaxy S20, you might want to check your updates tab. The company just announced the launch of One UI 3 running on Android 11, which is honestly pretty impressive for Samsung. I mean, Android 11 was actually launched this year along with their update. One UI 3 brings a new refresh design, which they are marketing as more simple and elegant with visual enhancements to the home screen, lock screen, and more. It also brings improved camera capabilities like better autofocus, auto exposure, and more. They're also teasing extended customization when it comes to sharing images, videos, and more. And then speaking of the lock screen, the widgets on it are getting a redesign, letting you see more important information without having to unlock the phone. Again, if you have any of the Galaxy S20 devices and we can't speak for carrier variants, but it should be rolling out to you at the moment and it will come to the Note 20 series in the following weeks. And who knows about the foldables? We'll keep you posted. I know, gotta love it when Samsung says weeks and uh, I mean, weeks could be a year if you do the math. It's crazy. Now, how about if we talk about iPhone 12 issues as the connectivity issues that we discussed yesterday are apparently only part of the story. It seems that consumers are having more problems. There's several complaints of iPhone 12 battery drain during standby going around in the Apple forums. The users reporting this apparently turned 5G off and had little to no background activity going on and noticed from around 10 to a 30% drain charging overnight. Something totally strange for a phone that's brand new. One of the complaints 
complaint says that he notices that his iPhone 12 Pro is draining battery when in idle, with no battery activity at a 4% faster rate when compared to the iPhone 11 Pro. He disabled mobile data to see if it was 5G, but he claims that it didn't make much of a difference. He lost 30% battery power in 10 hours overnight. Wow, that's a great amount of time to sleep. Kind of crazy when compared to the iPhone 11, which lost 5% in the same amount of time. Apparently he talked to Apple support and the diagnostics revealed no issues. So this could be a software problem. We've been using all variants of the iPhone 12 without any issues, but uh, regardless, the amount of consumers that are complaining about this problem is kind of significant, so we can't just let it slide. First of all, thank you to Qualcomm Technologies for sponsoring this segment of the video. Yesterday was day two of the company Snapdragon Tech Summit, where we got to learn more about their new Snapdragon 888 5G mobile platform. And the list is very long as to why your next smartphone should be powered by this chip. This is Qualcomm's latest flagship processor, which is now built on a more powerful and efficient 5 nanometer process. It implements both flavors of 5G using Qualcomm's new Snapdragon X60 modem and the latest Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.2 to give you enhanced mobile experiences. It comes equipped with the company's new 6th generation AI engine, which paired with their new Hexagon 780 processor delivers industry leading power efficiency and performance of up to 26 tera operations per second. That's actually three times as much as the previous generation. It also brings a new Cryo 680 CPU, which generates a 25% boost in CPU performance, and the Adreno 660 GPU, which provides 35% faster graphics when compared to last year. There's also a major push in the camera department as Qualcomm's new Spectra 580 ISP jumps to a triple image signal processor. This means that it is capable of capturing from three different cameras simultaneously at up to 2.7 gigapixels per second, along with a new low light arc architecture. It supports things like Rec 2020 color gamut, photo and video capture, up to 10-bit color depth for photo and video as well as HDR HEIF. And now you have 8K video at 30 frames per second, slow-mo at 720p video at a crazy 960 frames per second. It supports Dolby Vision 4K video at 120 frames and HDR 4K video with portrait mode, which is pretty awesome. Yes, Snapdragon Elite Gaming also takes a boost in responsiveness and game rendering at up to a 30% increase thanks to variable rate shading as well. Again, this is Qualcomm's most powerful mobile platform to date, and 14 OEMs were announced to adopt it soon, with Xiaomi, Oppo, and Realme being some of the first. Again, the list is very long, too much to summarize in a segment, so make sure you follow the first link in the description to learn more about what's great about the new Snapdragon 888 5G mobile platform. And finally, the hottest news today have to do with Apple and uh, the new rumors that apparently the company's One More Thing event wasn't really the one last thing that we were getting this year. The company has been pretty busy this year. They launched five iPhones, multiple Macs, including the Intel ones we got back in spring, along with iPads and other things. Well, in an internal memo recovered by Mac Rumors, Apple is informing service providers that they are having Apple Care related changes planned for Tuesday, December 8th at approximately 5.30 a.m. Pacific time, which is usually when they make updates to the store. To be more specific, Apple has advised their technicians to prepare for new product SKUs, new and updated product descriptions, and new and updated product pricing. For some context, Apple has issued nearly identical memos ahead of their product launches, the previous one going out after the iPhone 12 event happened. Now, it's pretty unlikely that Apple is planning an event to happen at 5 in the morning on a Tuesday. Please, don't Apple. It kind of looks like if this is just going to be a silent release. If you think about it, last month, Love to Dream tweeted that Apple is giving us a Christmas surprise, which we wish were discounts, but we ignored it because it could have just been anything. So let's just recap. What leaked products are missing? I mean, AirTags, the new Apple TV, the AirPods Studio, more Macs? It wouldn't be the first time that Apple just launches something silently. So let us know in the comments down below, what would you like for Apple to launch right now? Because in my case, with this cold, AirPod Studio, that would be fantastic. I'd prefer that over AirTags, but that's just me. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Also, follow us on social medias. Our extended coverage happens on Instagram. And follow me on my personal handles to see me get confused intentionally over what day it is. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.